This calculator tutorial brought to you by Pinnacle Career Institute. For this tutorial, we will be using the TI-36X Pro calculator as it is currently offered through the bookstore at the time of this recording. Any scientific calculator should be capable of these functions, so if you are using a different calculator, please consult its manual. We will now set up our calculator to operate in engineering notation mode. To begin, please turn your calculator on and we will simply follow these steps. Step 1. Hit the mode button. Step 2. Use the arrow pad and arrow over to the ENG so it is highlighted. Step 3. Hit the enter button to select engineering notation mode and then clear to begin calculating. It's that simple. Now let's do some examples. Remember that engineering notation is a way of simplifying numbers with many digits. These could be very large numbers or very small numbers, but the key is simplification. Let's start out with a very small value, so grab your calculator and work along with me here. Point zero 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 two six. That's seven zeros if you were counting. If we're using powers of 10 place values, that's 2,600 millionths, which is way too complicated. So let's apply engineering notation, which is using powers of 3 to simplify this number. Our calculator is already set up, so all we have to do is punch in the number and hit enter. The answer that is provided for us doesn't exactly look like it is engineering notation, but it is. Your calculator might be different, but the E in this is in place of times 10. So 26 times 10 to the negative 9th and 26 E negative 9 are the same thing. So to recap, we've started with 26 hundred millionths, which was way too complicated. Entering our calculator function of engineering notation, we get 26 e to the negative 9, which is the same as saying 26 times 10 to the negative 9th. In some scenarios, you'll want to simplify this number even further by using metric prefixes. 26 times 10 to the negative 9th can be simplified as 26 n, or 26 nano. Let's do another example. 0 0.0074. Our calculator is already in engineering notation mode, so all we have to do is plug in this number and hit enter. The answer is 7.4e-3. If you're wondering why there's a decimal left in our answer, it's because in engineering notation, we can only move our decimal in multiples of 3. So 7.4e-3 is the most simplified form of this number when calculated. That again is the same as 7.4 times 10 to the negative third. Now take a look at this metric prefixes chart and see if you can tell which symbol we should use to simplify this further. That's a lowercase m, which stands for milli. This next example of 40 will teach us something new about engineering notation. Our answer comes up 40e0. Hmm. Let's go ahead and look at our metric prefixes chart again. You can see that there is no 10 to the 0 power prefixes. That's because 40 is already simplified, so there's no need to calculate. Okay, last example. Let's look at a very large number to calculate into engineering notation. 13 billion. When entered into the calculator, we get 13 e positive 9. That's 13 times 10 to the positive 9th, which uses the metric prefix capital G or 13 giga. In some of the previous examples, we had a negative power where now we have a power that is a positive 9. This is positive because the original number was a 1 or greater. 
Any number that is a decimal or fraction of one, like our first two examples here, will be a negative power. This does not, however, mean that it is a negative number. On that note, please seek out all of the additional resources provided in your online classroom and thoroughly read the assigned text so you have a better understanding of these topics and always, always ask your instructor if you have any further questions. Thank you 